to be paying the mouth think of things. The corpse remains silent. Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And... A light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Philogear always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent! Now remember, Philogear's fireworks accept no liability for singed nails, toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown-off heads. Now... You there. What can I do for you? You feel an all too familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. He has a tadpole. Aha! A fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the Absolute. I have a special sample, available just for you, if you wish. You must be Arthur's friend. Keep your voice down. Yes, yes. He's just upstairs. But only one flight. If you get to the top, you've gone too far. Browse as irresponsibly as you like. Just don't tell the other customers. Head on up. You're... Uncle is waiting for you upstairs. Maintaining temperature. Another friend of Falagir? All right. Just remember the top floor's off limits. Password or not. Looking to buy a little something extra, then? That could not be less of your business. Smoke powder in its earthier forms. For purists only. Don't jostle any of the merchandise on your way out. Pressure steady. Already on temperature yet. Maintaining temperature. Employees only, past dear. If you're expecting any packages, they'll bring them down to you. And I'm off. Intact. Mm, not critical, just a bastard if it mm. breaks. Won't blow us up.
pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? Maintaining temperature. Steady at the moment. Down. Eight. Good luck. Ten. Good. All fingers intact. Time for a turn. Have you tried the lant? Or perhaps the delicate simplicity of a perfectly crafted torch is more to your taste. Let's get going. Another step forward. I was following a kitty. Can't afford a failure on a critical pipe. Uh, not critical, just a bastard if it breaks. Hmm. Won't blow us up. Steady. Steady. In the spillage, and I'll be picking... Employees only, Pastier. If you're expecting any packages, they'll bring them down to you. Ten. Good. All fingers intact. Pressure steady. Maybe a little temperature, yes? You have to pay me. Maintaining temperature. Steady at the mark. Why are your papers here? <laughs> Any spillage, and I'll be picking my teeth out of the roof beams. Only no matter what. Keep on. Cater to one lord and his metal toys. Let me back in. I'll bring Laroakin out here, you tin tube. You tell Laroakin I went for his goddamn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. Laroakin, the wizard who set out the contract, he owns this place. And his little page boy inside knows how to get to him. Laroakin said it'd be easy money. A smash and grab. Get in, get the night song, go. Turns out his little relic was in a temple of Shah, beneath an army of goblins. Would never have taken my people in if I'd known. I can't bring him back. But I can make Laroa can cough up. Especially if you found the relic. Hope you lost fewer people along the way than I did. Laroakin should have warned us. If she's out there, I'm gonna find her. You mark my words.
defender of the people. A long way from Waterdeep. Sharp as ever. There's not much left. Looks like folks heard the Absolute was on the march and brought everything that wasn't nailed down. I should speak up. You! What are you doing here? This is, uh, my apprenticeship. It has not been what I expected. Master Leroican is um, a difficult man. He's consumed by his pursuit of the Night Song. I haven't learned a thing, and I fear it'll stay that way. Lucky escape, given Leroican's reputation. He'd have little of value to teach you. <clears throat> but never mind that. What can I do for you? It's all I deal with these days. People claiming their trinkets are the real night song. Looking for the mountain of gold the rower can promise. There's even a pamphlet. Take one. They're on the desk. Huh. I suppose that at least I can help with. Hope you found what you're looking for.
anyone back home will ever believe this. have risen. Might as well be throwing my gold straight into the lava elemental. You're a fellow bargain hunter, I see. The hidden gems here are far better value than the rare books Tolna keeps locked behind the desk. The gods are watching me. My brother can get on himself. How delightful! I simply must have it. Literature department. Can I help you? Psst. These books are sensitive. They prefer an environment of quiet reverence. that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate. Between us, even Master Lerokin was reluctant to house them in his tower. The pen is mightier than the magic wand, apparently. <laughs> They're locked away here for their and our customers' safety. Our finest reserve includes the Tharkia Codex, the Annals of Carsis and Netherese Folly, Sites of the Sealy, and the Curriculum of Strategy. Do any of those interest you? It is said to be written by Lord Carsis himself, the Netherese Arcanist who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra. Failed and was banished for the attempt. Great magical knowledge lies within those pages, but not many can withstand it. That's it. That's what I need. The annals of Carsus would no doubt have much to say about the crown's true nature. If only you could read them. as temperamental as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault, where none can harm them, nor can they do any harm. Consider yourself lucky to have learned of such a book's existence, and then forget about it. The annals of Carsus are best left unread. knowledge of these tones is enough to stimulate most. What an issue of Boulder's mouth is that doing it here? This is hardly the time for idle banter. The annals of Carsus are here, waiting to be read. But it 
Do you think that zombie looks fresh? Is fresh good? I never know with zombies. Born zombie gazes at you hungrily, pus drooling from its slack jaw. Nothing but the best. Apologies. I'm with a customer at. Excuse me, he can't stop. There's only so much shopping time left before the absolute breaches the city. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the night song, Great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command over an army of ancient beasts. The Night Song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. The Night Song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. Song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. Uh, 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 uh. Hold very still, Nicola. Uh. Craig's aim is much improved, but uh, still leaves something up to chance. Yes, sir. All right, crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Hmm. We have a visitor. At ease. Quick, law, you may go. see no night song. Uh, surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand? Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time? And you must have an answer to my request. If you want to keep your head, of course. <laughs> the night song. Do you have it or not? I'm growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. Beautiful, isn't it? Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warlock. Very little of his soul left to him. 
Mm. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. And this? This can keep her in place. Forever. It didn't work out for poor Kethrick, did it? He was a fool, a desperate mercenary who hoard out his soul to whichever god flattered him. <laughs> I serve no god, but that which stares back at me in the mirror. The night song will be put to a grand purpose, equalizing man and god. Whoever helps me attain that which I seek will be greatly rewarded. Of course not. But perhaps, after enough lifetimes, I might make a start of it. He would seek the power of gods for the pettiest of reasons, his own gratification. At least I seek them for the better of all. Uh, what's that? I didn't quite catch the words, but the insolent tone was clear enough. Uh, pitying, not insolent. You chase one power without knowing an even greater one lies within my reach. The crown of Carsus. Once we acquire it, your ambitions will be dwarfed. I'll be able to stand against Mistra and wrest her powers from her for the betterment of all. The crown of Carsus. Nonsense. Even if it still existed, you couldn't possibly handle its power. <laughs> Perhaps you could not. But Netheril's power is in my blood. And Mistra? I know her in ways that most mortals can only dream of. Ah. Uh -huh. So it is you. Mistra's discarded lapdog. And now you think your bark is cause to make me tremble? There is no need for me to bark. My actions will speak for themselves. In time. Then go. Max, I'll open a fine vintage in your name once word of your failure reaches me. shall see, won't we? Do as I say, and you will be rewarded beyond imagination. Fail, and you give up the prize to the next motivated mercenary to encounter my contract. The choice is yours, but make no mistake, I always get what I want. Bring him the night song, won't you? He'll be so very pleased, so very happy if his plans materialize.
blood, bile, phlegm, chop, chop. Picking is attracting attention. Tread carefully. I don't need any attention right now. Light on my feet. communal use, it seems. have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected. Congratulations, you've convinced them to give you access. Now what? Well, that ends yeah, not as bad as it could have. Can't slow down. Open up. Let's see what this does. Storage and sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes.
right tool will do the trick. No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroican. hidden between these pages. his door. If that charlatan Laroican thinks he can best day Malin, he's even more clueless than I believed. We should inform her of his delusions. No doubt she'll have great fun in dispelling them. If that wizard wants Dame Aelin so bad, I say we give him exactly what he's asked for. I'd love nothing more than to see her grind that wretch into bone dust. Oh, that guy makes my skin crawl. So, what's the plan? Do we chase him out of town or skip straight to skull cracking? I'm not bloodthirsty. I'm dangerous creep thirsty. This guy is terrible news. I say we stop him before he hurts anyone. Better yet, let Dame Aelin do it. She deserves to look him in the eye before she ends him.
can't give up now. to put my hands on everything. If not over, then through. So much for a warm welcome. Nearby, the path to the elements to vault. What's in here? Come on, open up.
careful not to trigger that thing. For blood. room for more? of Carsus, the preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. If the crown atop the Elder Brain was truly forged by Carsus himself, this book will confirm it. All we have to do is turn the page. Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Carsus's original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. Not exactly. It was what he did with it that sealed his fate, and, for a time, that of magic itself. The crown was merely the means. The book states that the crown and netherstones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three netherstones, and, with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think... I could reforge it. Worse, it could be the best thing that ever happened to me, to us. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last would be free of doctrine and dogma, confined only by the limits of our imaginations. I promise you, the gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. I don't know. Ao does not look kindly on gods meddling in mortal affairs. She may have no choice but to stand by and let events unfold. Even with the fate of the world at stake, she had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. She's done nothing to help us. Mistra wanted the brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control, ready to be claimed by Carsus's successor. Hmm. 
neither of us can know what truly may be if we don't at least try. Potential is nothing in itself. Just a fleeting dream unless we drag it into the waking world. Please, at least think on it. Powerful as he was, Carstas lacked some advantages I can lay claim to. I know, Mistra, intimately. And I carry a fragment of the weave itself within my body. Carstas achieved many things. Hmm. But he never managed that. A long road lies ahead before the crown comes into our possession. All I ask for now is that you do not dismiss this possibility out of hand. Please, at least think on it. This is no passing whim. Trust me. If I can obtain that crown, it will affect us all. It's not a decision I'll take lightly. It's our future that I'm thinking of. Can't rely on anyone else to do it for us. For now, we've learned all we can. Whatever comes of this, we cannot allow the crown to be reforged in Raphael's image. A devil wielding the might of Cassus. It would be the end of everything. appears to turn towards you, showering everything with a bracing mist. The lava elemental looks at you placidly, near unfathomable heat beating against your face. Enjoying a lungful of bull derion air. <laughs> yes, a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. Tell me, what curiosities have you and your uh, companions discovered within the walls of this esteemed emporium? Sir, so, you have learned the truth of the enemy. The very tool with which its eponymous creator unmade magic itself. Perhaps now you understand what is at stake here, my boy. Though what Mr. asked of you was extreme, it was not without merit, nor demanded lightly. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mr. knows you defied her game. Well, of course she knows. She's Mistra. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. I'm curious enough to make the attempt. All right. An audience with the mother of magic, it is. Perhaps... Perhaps that should have been your mission right from the start. 
trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in this There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. So all it took to get Mistress attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. It's obvious when you stop to think about it. The weave is a highly sensitive magical network threaded through all life on this plane. Any shift in magical energy, no matter how small, is akin to a beacon alerting Mistra to its cause. Opening a book like the Annals of Carsus was akin to us shooting a firework spelling, look at us, Mistra, directly into the skies of Elysium. She knows. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. And what may afterwards. After you. It speaks a feline dialect called Mriar. It wants to know if you're its mother. Got to tip for you, mate. Don't believe everything you read. 